What's up, YouTube? Now, what I'm about to uh, share, uh, I don't really want to, but I think the Lord wants me to for some reason. <coughs> Forgive me. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just trying to be obedient. Something I experienced years ago, um, I was in very uh, a focused prayer uh, through the week. And I was, the ritual tradition at the church was in the pre-service Sunday. I, most of us would go up to the altar and worship the Lord, and I was worshiping. And uh, somebody came by me, and I felt like I needed to pray. And I knew something was going to happen in the Holy Ghost. I knew it because I was from that that week of prayer, intense prayer. I knew something was going to happen. And I, as soon as I put my hand on him and prayed, God must have touched him because he, he screamed out. And uh, the, uh, <coughs> the the colonel pastor at that time, the preacher, uh, turned and said something of the devil. And, you know, as I'm going through, I mean, today, I'm in Matthew 21. I wasn't looking for this stuff, but when I read this, um, that's what I thought of. And I felt like the Lord wanted me to share this. People got to realize men are not the Lord. If you're going to make, you have to make that choice. Are you going to make some pastor your Lord? Like the uh, the uh, current doctrine in the UPC type stuff. Not across the board, but somewhat that I've seen it many times. Um, or are you going to let Jesus Christ be your Lord? You know, these, these men, they come and go. These preachers, these pastors, they backslide, he's backslide, he's divorced, he's, he's whatever. He's doing what he wants to do. And uh, he, as an elder, as a, a church body person, you got to realize the uh, a lot of these doctrines that are being taught out there are not biblical. They're borderline antichrist. They're definitely pharisaical because every time I'm in this New Testament, the Lord is showing me this stuff. Check this out, um, Matthew 21. Um, I'm going to start at 23, just a couple scriptures. And when he was come into the temple, Jesus was coming into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, By what authority dost, dost thou doest these things? And who gave thee this authority? They were always instigating because they were they were anti-god they were anti-christ they're always attacking jesus and they're going to do the same thing to you uh, as you follow the holy ghost and you stop following these men that are not following the holy ghost that's the whole point i think of this video again i did not want to teach this um verse 24 and jesus answered and said unto them i also will ask you one thing which if ye tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. And then he goes into the baptism of John. Now, basically, <laughs> this Bible stays over. Um, I think everything was said. Now, Jesus, uh, it's interesting. He He's teaching the Great Commission all the time when he's even not teaching the Great Commission. Okay. <laughs> the part that the... Uh, a lot of the Antichrist uh, church uh, leaders do not teach the born again message. Again, this is this Bible says not on that, but it is prevalent. Uh, it's it, people don't know this stuff, folks. Um, anything else, Holy Ghost, that I should share? That, uh, elders are supposed to uh, take the oversight. That's exactly what I'm doing in my life, whether. Uh, Colonel Ministry receives it or not. They have a job to do. If you're a pastor, if you're a prophet, whatever whatever you are, uh, you have a job to do. Well, guess what? So do the elders. First Peter 5, let me put in your memory. The elders which are among you, I exhort, whom also an elder. Peter is, of course, talking. Witness in the sufferings of Christ, also partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Elders feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight, not by constraint, but, willing, but willingly, not for money, but for a ready mind. Neither is being lords over God's heritage, but examples to the flock. 
Okay, the bottom up mentality. Um, I wasn't planning on going into this, but it, I have to preface this because it, it this stuff is not being taught. The um, it's I think it's Matt, I think it's Matthew 20, Mark 10, Luke 22, talking about the Gentiles rule their serfs, their churchgoers, they rule like a lord overlord. Uh, and he said, it's not going to be so among you, okay? It's opposite, okay? So, but this is not usually taught, okay? Especially, I've been in uh, UPC, what, 24 years, 25, 26. It's not really, no, no they'll, they'll kick you right in. Get out of here, there you go, okay? And with the light of the scriptures, and uh man there's something on my phone with the light of the scriptures and um uh the holy ghost you can see that they're slipping into the pharisaical ways okay and so elders you are supposed to take the oversight speak up i know you're scared and you know they, they i know i know i know They'll, they'll intimidate and even sorcery, sometimes witchcraft. And I know, I get it. I've been through it. I know, I know. Okay, take all this to the Lord in prayer. Be studious. Be prayerful. Do not let a man shut you down. The, the preacher, pastor, whatever you call him. Uh, in, the, in this uh, somewhat of a recent future, uh, shutting the uh, gifts of uh, God down. There was an interpretation of tongues that was going to proceed, and he had shut the man down. He said, no, brother. No, brother. See, the, the danger of, you know, the this is the Holy Ghost's church. And these overlords who think their lords are nothing, if, if they're not doing, if a pastor's not doing his job, and he's exerting a, uh, Authority out of bounds, out of boundaries. He is there for you. Do not have to obey uh, carnal leaders. You do not have to obey when the Holy Ghost talks to you as an elder, and you read it in the Bible, and you've experienced the abuse. You don't have to shut your mouth. You have to speak up. That's what the Holy Ghost expects. He wants order in His church. He does not want these leaders uh, out of order. And again, it's the bottom up. You might not even understand this. I've probably got 30 videos about this in playlists. Good place to go to my elders playlist. I know what I'm talking about. I know what God told me. I know what I experienced all the abuse. I know what I'm, I know what is going on in the Holy Ghost. I've got gifts in the Holy Ghost too. And so do you. If the mouthpiece of the church is not in order, elder, go up to his face in love and say, Hey, brother, what are you doing? Just like Galatians 2, when, when Paul had to rebuke Peter, what are you doing? <coughs> <coughs> um, again, this was not a planned video. I did not want to make this video. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, if you if you go through all the discourses of in Ma in all the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and when look at the interactions with Jesus with the Pharisees, that's why he didn't want uh, pastors being lords in the New Testament because they jacked up his stuff in the Old Testament, the Pharisees, because they were ruling like Gentiles. That is a no, no. And I know everybody does it. I, I get it. It doesn't make it right because everybody gets it. And everybody goes along with it. It doesn't make it right. Most of the time, if everybody's going along with it, it's probably not right. There is a lot of dirt under them carpets. Oh, and the Holy Ghost is going to shake them out. Oh, yes, he is. There's a lot of stuff I could talk about right now. Giving is biblical. Show me one person paying tithes in the New Testament. Priest or people, show me one person. I know the teachings there. 
there's no application of it. You're giving is there. See, that's just an example. See, a lot of stuff we're taught, it's not, it's not New Testament biblical. It's, most of it's Old Testament. Tithing's Old Testament, basically the uh, the rule of the Pharisees, Old Testament, basically. And Jesus flipped it. Check it out. Check it out. Look at my uh, elders' videos. If you if you really want to be biblical, I started a group on uh, Facebook. There's a few members. I think it's, I forget what I call it. Uh, proper biblical alignment. It was just off the top of my head, and I did. That's so why I just sent videos there. Proper biblical alignment. See, I'm not, I'm not interested in baloney religion. It's going to probably take me to hell, hell where these uh, carnal preachers are going. See, I, I'm I'm not interested in that at all. And I'm not interested in giving wolves all my money. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in, in listening to the Holy Ghost. Hear, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. I'm interested in that. I, I don't care about stupid uh, messages. Unless it's from him. And you'll know it's from him. And you'll know if it's not. You should know, elders. You should know if it's from the Holy Ghost or not. And when you turn a blind eye... You're as guilty as a carnal preacher. So don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Follow the Holy Ghost. Follow, you know, that's fine. Follow me as I follow Christ? Yeah, but what if they're not following Christ? See, that's the problem. You're going to wait 10 years later till all the dirt comes out and, and you realize, oh, this guy is a... Oh. And then you gave him all your money and, and now he's... I didn't plan on saying none of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I told the truth. I'm sorry. You know. You sweep it under the carpet, right? Don't say nothing. Just keep being abused, right? No. No. That's not God. That's not God at all. Where is the spirit of liberty in all that? That is satanic. That is demonic. That is witchcraft. That is sorcery. And Peter turned to Simon the sorcerer and said, You lucky God don't kill you right now, boy. But repent of your wickedness. Especially the leaders and the preachers. You are to be the example of Jesus Christ. Where's your towel, boys? Where's your towel, boy? You're the towel, boy. And where's your towel? Yeah. Yeah. No. Everybody else, oh, oh, the pastor said. Funny how that word's not even in the New Testament. One time, Ephesians 4.11, plural, pastors, one time. Read about pastors in the Old Testament, Jeremiah. It ain't good. There's a reason why that word is not in the New Testament. Because they have a tendency to make themselves lords. And the underlings that are ignorant of the Bible push them up. Oh, oh. Well, here's my money here. Here's my money here. Come on, wake up. Wake up, brethren. Wake up. Where's the prayer? If you want God, if you want the Holy Ghost to lead you, brothers, in your assemblies, you better get the church doors open and have prayer every day. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. Whatever. That's all I got. I could keep going. I, I'm just done talking. See, I it disgusts me the stuff that I have to teach because because of the crud. And y'all are supposed to be holy, brethren. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> holy goes. What are you doing? I don't even want to go in this. Come on, come, you know it's baloney. You know, come. Whereas the if, if nobody's getting baptized in Jesus' name. <sighs> If nobody's getting the Holy Ghost, if nobody's getting healing, don't fool yourself, brothers. Don't fool yourself. Go back in the New Testament. Read all the red letters. Fix your errors in your assemblies. Start doing it Christ's way and not your stupid organizational way. Because it doesn't work. Don't follow men. They will take you to hell. Follow the Spirit, and you can't know what He's saying unless you're in prayer every day. And help the people. 
in prayer when they can. They got to work. Ministry don't work. They just, I don't know what they do. Play golf and ride motorcycles, I guess. I don't know. Make money. Money, money, money. And you're going to go to hell. Preacher, pastor. I hope all the leaders of UPC see this video. I hope. Please send it to them. Please, please, please. I please, I beg you. Send it to them. That's all I got. God bless. That's not all I got, but I got to go.